Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm going to take a closer look at the uh, Power Mac G4 I've got, but first, I just want to do a quick update on the laptops. These four, not the bottom one, obviously, because that's my Compact Evo, um, Compact Armada, rather. Not the Evo, the Evo's there. Duh. Anyway, the RM, fully working. Um, it does now have <laughs> a um, wireless switch with a couple of holes in it. Because um, I think the plastic bit that leaks that plastic toggle switch to the actual switch had broken, so it was just sliding up and down freely. But uh, I was poking around with a screwdriver, the screwdriver slipped through the um, plastic and hit the switch and turned the wireless on, so the wireless is permanently stuck on at the minute, which isn't a bad thing. But uh, yeah, the RM fully works. The Toshiba Tecra, I've got that fully working. Uh, the HP here is also fully working. Uh, but the IBM ThinkPad, I've still got to... Uh, find the drivers for, which may take a bit of a digging around on the interwebs, but I'm sure I'll get there. As for the Compaq Evo, I did find my other connector up, and uh, as you can see this one's actually got all contacts in there, none of them have fallen out, um, but the only problem is I haven't got the caddy, and it would make life a lot easier if I have the caddy, so I'm still going to buy the caddy before I continue with that, but I know that one will work with a working hard drive. Anyway, that's the uh, laptop update. I really must get in here and clear that shit up. Uh, I've already opened up the Mac this morning. There's bits and bobs rattling around in it, and I found the uh, hard drive caddy rattling around, and and I found these two sort of expansion cards here. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. I think it could be a Wi-Fi card. Because of that little sort of antenna connector on the end here. You can see that just there in front of my thumb. That does look a bit like a Wi-Fi antenna connector. Um, also got these metal tabs. I'll show you where this does fit to in a minute because it's got this sort of adapter on the bottom. But there is a slot that it fits to on there. There's the hard drive caddy. I'm not sure what this one is. It's got a connector there that looks more like a laptop board to me. But uh, I haven't dug around in the machine yet to see if there's a um, spot for it. Anyway. I actually had no idea exactly what the specs were for this machine, so I went on to Google. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I should have stayed in the lounge, really, and uh, done this bit, but never mind. I did an ask about face. Right. It is an Apple Mac server G4. 1.25 DP MDD specs. And it's got the model number, when I can find it. Which is the M8, uh, M8570, uh, introduced in August 27th, 2002. Uh, minimum 512 megabytes of RAM, max 2 gigabytes. Storage 120 gigabyte, VRAM 64 megabyte. I suppose if it was going to be used as a server, you wouldn't have needed much more than that. So apparently, yeah, it's another server. So I've got two servers. Well, I could easily use one as a desktop if I wanted to, or as a main computer. You know, I can soon whack an OS on here and use it as a mainstream computer. I've got to try and get this bloody cover off, or cover open. I've got a problem with me. Ugh! It's actually quite nice looking in there. And apparently 
apparently it's got dual processors, so I'm going to take that heatsink off and clarify that because that's a rather wide heatsink, so it might be going over two processors. Four memory slots, so I could put four times 512 megabyte sticks in there. Now it's got all these PCI slots. I like these because that's the standard length of a standard PCI right there. Then they've got this extra bit on the end here. AGP graphics. Um, I'm not sure what video card it is without taking it out and having a look. Does it say on the back? No, I bet it's on the other side that I can't see. Yep. Two IDE channels. Mirror doors and everything need a good clean on the front here. That's got, yeah. All there for your CD drive, power button, speaker. On the back, you got your Ethernet, phone, modem, speaker in, audio in, or headphones. Well, I'll get there in a minute. Headphones and audio in. Uh, that looks like a Wi Fi antenna. Firewire 400 ports and two. Uh, I don't actually know if they're USB 1.1 or 2.0. So, I'm glad the battery hasn't leaked. I don't know if it's still got any charge in. Let's have a look, shall we? I've got my little multimeter at hand. Set it to 20 volts. Make sure I don't blow it up. And put one probe down here. Less than a volt, so that's just under a volt, so that is dead as a doornail. Now, uh, da, 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 da. this card I found out goes in this slot, or at least it fits. I don't know if it actually goes in here, but it fits. It takes a bit of wiggling around to get it all lined up. Two ways to do it, and I get it upside down the first time. It'll only go in one way I found, like that. Slide straight in. So, if anyone actually knows exactly what that is, if that's like a Wi Fi card or whatever, let me know. Ah! And it looks like, let me get this lined up. Yes. Take out these two screws. Doing a bit of reassembling. A bit of reassembling and a bit of losing the screws. Hang on. Mm. Ooh, I've got a rumbly tummy. This card looks like it sits, if I can line it up, right there. And then there's a couple of screws to go. In to hold it down. So I'm still none the wiser to what this actually is. Well, if it's like a, I don't know, it must be an expansion card for something. I don't know why they took them off though. Well, I need to go and get my magnetic Phillips screwdriver. I can remember where I put it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Where did I throw it last? I can't remember. It's in this pile of screwdrivers down here. Anyway, do I magnetise this one? Yeah. Makes life a little easier. There we go. I don't even know if that's actually the right screw because it hasn't screwed in properly. Oh well, what I'll do, I'll take it out and leave it out. One screw will hold it in. Yeah, it's in there good and tight. That's not going to go anywhere. Hmm. So I'll put those back in. I don't know what OS to put on it, because I don't 
think I'll use it as a server. I could, because I know this one powers up and turns on fine. Unlike the uh, Dell. Yeah, CD drive, CD drive, hard drive bay goes in there. Right. Um. Need to shut the camera down just for a minute. So, okay, back. Sorry about that. Right. I'm just going to magnetise another screwdriver up. And then we're going to take a few bits out of this and have a bit of a closer look. Should do it. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to take the video card out first, I think. Get that out of the way. Screw this so we don't lose it. Is there a locking tab? Yes, it is. So we have, if I can find it, it is an NVIDIA. A little bit of rust around the contact. I may uh, find up a bit of steel wool and uh, just give that a wipe over while I've got the card out. It's obviously been stored somewhere damp. Hmm. According to the info on this machine I was reading, it's uh it's um got dual processors on it. I wonder what screw that was, I was wrapping around in there. Right. Let's see some cobwebs. Love the cobwebs. Aluminum heat sink. Oh, I'm British, so should that be aluminium? Right, well, I'm guessing that those are the two processors. <laughs> There's an IDE cable there, but I don't know what that goes to. Ah. This must be for the CD-ROM drive. What I've got here. So I'm assuming that would go in there like that, and that one I guess goes in the back of the. I'm going to plug in what I can. I did pull out another floppy cable, which I assume would go from here to the hard drive. Loads of power connectors. There seems to be fresh cobwebs in here, so I wouldn't mind betting there's a creepy crawly curling around in here somewhere. Big ass heat sink back in the place. Pop the screws in. I'll do this back one first and I'll turn the steel back round. Actually, I've got two in the back to do. That's weird because the processor looks like it's on a separate board. First computer that 
meant to be a server, there weren't no SCSI cards or anything in this. Uh, unless they were um, taken out. Oops. Just drop the screwdriver straight on top of the magnet. Some hard drive magnets, really hard to scroll. There's a button here for something. I don't know what that button is for. Well, not in it, really. I think I might just uh, set it up as an ordinary desktop PC, just whack a hard drive in. See if we can figure out how the caddy goes in, shall we? Where's the caddy go in? We've got a screw hole there. Let's see, screw holes up there. Ah, push this way up. in there. Ah, so what that long screw is for? I wonder what this long screw is for. Should we find out? There we go. Hard drive caddy back in. I've got to take it out again to put the bloody... to put the bloody um, hard drive in when I get one. Oof. I'm just going to find a bit of a steel wool. I know I've got some lurking somewhere. Probably in that pile of tools on the floor, actually, if I remember correctly. I'm fairly certain I threw a bit down here. Yep. Whoops. That's better. Just makes it look tidier if we clean it up. Plump the card back into the machine. That's all. Better put the screw in as well. There was no screw in this when I first uh, opened it up, when I first got it. So the video card was flattened all over the place. Right, so that's in. I suppose if I want to make it into a server, I'd have to get some SCSI cards for it. But, as I've never really had the... Uh, opportunity to use an Apple PC, apart from the old iMac in the corner there. Um, I think I'll uh, try to get this up and running as a normal desktop PC. There's something like the orangey strokes down the top of this. I don't know what it is. Answers on the postcard? Like a bit tape or something, or something else was, uh, maybe something was sat on it. The side panel is heavy alone. See? I wonder what that go to. There's just this random cable here that's sort of flopping around doing nothing. Uh, there's a header there, but that's the wrong header. doesn't go on one of these cards, does it? I can't see. can't see another header on that card. Let's, uh, no, there's no header on the... I'm pretty certain that's a Wi-Fi card. Um, 
pop this one off and make sure there's no header on this one. Don't think there is. Apart from... Ah, I guess there is. It's hidden underneath. Go on like that. Right. We missed a header. There we go. Is that connected? Screw back in. As I said, I've got no friggin' idea what it actually does. Clock battery is pretty much dead. flapping around in there. I don't want screws flapping around in there. Oh, where did I put that? Um, bear with me a second, I'm not blank. Right. Found it. And found the other ID cable as well, so figured I might as well bring that through and plug in. I might as well keep all the parts that came out of it together. Okay, so I've got another blank plate that fell off. Because I pinched the screw out of it to put the, uh, <laughs> put the um, video card in properly. I've got that blank plate now. I'm not sure if there's another one. That's the wrong screw for that. I think I want that one. It's got a wider head on it. Yeah. Ah. Ah. So I'm guessing this smaller screw must be the other screw for this uh, little board. Am I correct? I am correct. There we go. That's that problem solved. Well, that's first. Actually, it's not first. It's just rare. It seems that all screws and fittings and cables are present, aside from the hard drive. So that's all I need to get to get this one working then. A hard drive and an operating system. And whatever else I decide. Ah! I'm starting to understand this machine now. I can see mountain brackets up there. I wonder if that's for another hard drive bay. Because there's a little IDE ribbon cable holder there. And as I said earlier, there's the um, other IDE header down there, which is too big for a floppy drive. Ah. That probably is, it's probably got an onboard I wonder if it's got an onboard SCSI. Because obviously you can get Yeah, you can get two drives in that hard drive bay. Like that. There's the power code. Wow. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm understanding the apple. Yay! I'm understanding a computer other than Microsoft computers. That's the first. I've actually got room for another um, optical drive. I still haven't figured out how you open the optical drive. Because all the buttons are hidden and I'll take it off. And do you have to turn it on and do it somehow? I don't know. Good. So, I'm guessing that's for an expansion for more hard drives. I'm guessing. Like I said, I'm not familiar too well with apples, which is why I was pretty glad I got this one in the job lot, actually. I 
know one thing, it's heavy. I know I keep saying that, but that damn thing is heavy. I don't know what that is, is that a head socket or something? Yeah, it is a headphone socket. Oh, what the? Fill up the tripod, lad. Well, it's certainly been poorly stored, I'll say. But uh, apart from cobwebs inside, from probably from being stored, and a bit of dirt on this side especially, it's been well looked after. No, I can't see any damage or... No. It just looks like that's just shit from being stored in a shed, probably. Right, anyway. My plan of action is going to be for another video that I'll make today is to get the Dell GX80 up and running. I wonder how many of these laptops. Actually, before I do the Dell, I may actually have another tinker with my ThinkPad and see if I can get anything working on it. It only needs, possibly needs the LAN driver, needs the video driver, needs an audio driver. I think, uh, I don't think it needs anything else. But uh, I'm sure I should be able to find something somewhere out there in the World Wide Web. The problem is with me, I only ever look on the first page. So I may have to, when I do a Google search, that is, I only look on the first page. So I think I need to dig through the rest of the pages. Right. So that's it for this video. If you like my little... Uh, inspection or a closer inspection of the Apple Power Mac G4 server thingamajiggy computer. Thumbs up and if you didn't, thumbs down. And uh, until next time, see you later.